This is Urs Heckmann from UHE and we are presenting uh, an alpha version, early version of our Repro, Repro 1 synthesizer. It's currently, as you can see, alpha. And as you can also see, it's a virtual model of the Pro 1 monophonic synthesizer from 1981, I think. And um, it does already do some sound, like it sounds pretty much exactly like our Pro 1 that we have had for a couple of years. And but what we what the interesting thing we're doing this time is um, we've put in five different filter models. Or well, actually, it's one filter model but calculated differently. And when you have extreme settings like this, you will hear a difference between the an ever so slight difference, but there is a difference between the between the um, algorithms. And one of these algorithms is very CPU friendly. One is very CPU hungry, and the others are in between. And we will not tell you which is which. And we are releasing this on Monday. This is April the third or fourth, something like that. And um, yes, we want we want for people to tell us what they think about the algorithms and we want to see if they can spot the most expensive one or if they prefer one of the lesser expensive ones and this is what we're doing with this before we how, yeah. practice, uh, how do you receive this feedback from people we, we just adjust a poll on the internet we will do a poll uh, on kvr uh, maybe also on gear slots Maybe something on our homepage. I don't know. And yeah, there is no. You do not need to send us anything this time. It's just really. It's a little bit more simple. Um, we wanted to do something where you send us stuff, but it was too complicated. And we can narrow it down to a to a more simple way. Just one, two, three, four, or five. Which one is it? <laughs> That's it. Um, this idea of. Uh, building a research project in your team. What was the idea be behind this? Well, we want to involve the people out there more in our um, in our development process. So we get early feedback, um, and like like we proverb, we get um, we get an idea of what people think about it, and then we can, for instance, change the way we go. Uh, with the with the whole project and um, yeah it's just you know getting people involved they like it we like it we get more feedback it's a win-win situation for everyone so you, one of your employees can make a plugin and suggest for a release okay. yeah yeah sure this is uh, we want to do more of this like uh, um, I mean it it also takes a lot of time. So uh, once you once you bring something out, there's a lot of discussion and all that. So you can't do it like every month, but every couple of months we can we can release one of our research projects, and yeah, interact with people. Um, we have not announced a release date yet. Um, it really depends because there's still a lot of research going on and we want to have more, we want to listen to more actual Pro Ones because each individual Pro One sounds differently and we want to know how different they are and we want to model these differences as well. And this uh, final version will come with how many filters? Um, it is just it is just it is really just one filter model but it's all calibrated differently so the the a little bit of recalibration sounds the uh, uh, quite what was I want to say a little bit of recalibration makes it sound very different and uh, um, in what price range we can expect the repro I don't really want to speculate about that right now because uh, we have not yet finalized the concept of it. We don't know if it's going to be a single plugin or uh, if there if we need to do 
multiple plugins, we do not know yet. But it will happen, very, very likely to happen in 2016, which is this year. And for all the other people uh, also, what is this, uh, um, the status quo with uh, Zebra 3? Um, that happens, happens in parallel. What we do here is, of course, also research uh, for Zebra 3. I mean, um, for Zebra, we cannot do very expensive filters because they have to be stereo and people want more than just one filter in their patch and stuff. So um, the research here is also about what compromise can we make. And um, if we decide on, on one kind of compromise, we can make it even faster with, with more uh, research and development on that. I'm not sure there either. I do not, I cannot promise anything. I have, well, I'm in good spirits that we will have something visible this year, but this is what I said two years ago already, so I don't know.